You're watching African Farming. I'm Batebile Mudutuani. We are still continuing with our discussion of germination and growth force for maize. In studio with us, we have Kulani Machaba from Pioneer. Kulani, welcome back. Thank you, Tabile. Kulani, can you please explain the concept of genetics to us? Tabile, let me give you an a hypothetical example about a very great athlete, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is very tall, is very strong, and is very fast. If you check at this build and compare it to mine, you can see that I cannot compete with him over 100 meters because my body structure is different. The same applies with plants. You may find that a certain plant has got the ability to withstand plant diseases as well as soil borne diseases. And another one doesn't have those genes that can let that plant to be able to withstand those diseases. Another point is the issue of uh, the size of the cobs. You may find that some plants have got small cobs, meanwhile other plants have got big cobs and prolificacy. Some maize plants, you may find that they produce one cob, some are able to produce two or three cobs, even under harsh growing conditions. That is as a result of the genetic potential of those plants. So the genes, they come from the parents and that is the essence of plant breeding. You select the best genes to produce the best plants and make sure that those genes are consolidated on, on the offspring that we're going to be selling as the final hybrid to the farmer so that the farmer is able to get plants with high genetic potential that produce big crops that are able to withstand harsh growing conditions. Now, before you start planting, I understand that you need to consider the environment. Can you please discuss what exactly is environment? There's different factors in the environment that we need to be considered. Number one is the soil. Uh, in the soil, as I explained, you can find that there are soil borne diseases that need to be catered for or considered when you are planting. Also the fertility of the soil. The nutrients composition of the soil is different. So you need to check the soil as towards the nutrient content and make sure that the nutrients are supplemented to be able to boost plant growth. The second issue is water. Water is very critical, especially for germination in the early stages of plant growth. So you need to check your environment and see that you've got enough water or you plant at a time when there will be good rains coming through if you don't have irrigation. The third part is the issue of uh, quality of the seed and how that relates to the environment. Because you may find that there are certain environmental factors, for example, as I explained earlier on, residues from pesticides that were used in the previous season that can impact on the quality of the germination and emergence of the plant. So all those assessments have to be done by the farmer and considered when the farmer is making a selection on what cultivar to use and on how to manage that particular crop that he is planting. Now, before a plant actually starts growing, there are certain challenges that it has to go through in order for it to produce good yields. What is vigor and how does that apply to maize? Okay, so after as the plant is germinated, the, this, the period when it starts to grow from the soil, underneath the soil, up to emergence on the soil surface is very critical. And that's where vigor comes in, is the ability to protrude through the soil faster and under difficult growing conditions and which are prevalent underneath the soil. That is the vigor that we're talking about. And the plants, we can do a vigor test for different plants and they can link it also with the genetic potential because it's not all plants that have the same vigor. And the genetic potential from one variety to another can also be correlated with the vigor of that particular plant. So we do vigor tests and we also check the different varieties as to how will they be able to cope under different growing conditions. So when one goes to make a, to buy seed, you need to have a discussion with your uh, sales agent to say, look, I have different growing conditions. Uh, I may need plants with very strong vigor. Please advise me, what's the right variety with a good genetic potential for my area that I can use? Kulani, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Please keep on talking to us at hashtag African Farming or AfricanFarming.com. And remember, 
we farm better together. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.